Hi everyone. Welcome to the Practical Pathology series by Ilo Pathology. I am sure by looking at the images you would be knowing that the topic which we'll be discussing today is acute appendicitis. So in the next 10 minutes we'll be uh, understanding the definition of appendicitis, the etiopathogenesis, the various clinical features and diagnosis and most importantly the gross and microscopic features of appendicitis and we'll conclude with understanding of the complications of appendicitis. Now what is appendicitis acute appendicitis it means it's a process of acute inflammation of the appendix this is one of the most common slides kept for you as an undergraduate student in the examinations right you know the discussions for inflammation starts by keeping these slides in the practical examinations so appendicitis is the process of acute inflammation of appendix this is the most common abdominal surgical emergency it can occur in any age groups but more common in young adults and adolescents the pathogenesis of appendicitis is multifactorial you know it could be obstruction it could be because of ischemia infection hereditary factors so many of these factors contribute for the development of appendicitis but the most common being obstruction the luminal obstruction the luminal obstruction results due to various causes the causes could be fecal you know the hard compact fecal material that can cause obstruction it could be because of hyperplasia of the lymphoid follicles in the submucosa particularly in children it could be the debris in the fecal ma matter or it could be the tumors involving the appendicular lumen so all these results in luminal obstruction and once you have a luminal obstruction what happens there will be consequently there will be increased intraluminal pressure so increased intraluminal pressure leads to ischemic injury because of the compression system compression you know it leads to ischemic injury and stasis of contents within the lumen so because of the stasis of content and subsequent ischemic injury there will be all possibility of bacterial proliferation and that results in inflammatory response okay which leads to edema and neutrophilic infiltration of the lumen and the muscular wall or even periappendicular soft tissues so this is how appendicitis develop in an individual now if the inflammation is not taken care in the initial stages what happens the pressure resulting due to inflammation in edema may predispose to the development of complications like you know gangrenous appendicitis the appendix might perforate resulting in peritonitis what are the clinical features the clinical features include typically the patient describes a peri umbilical colicky type of pain which increases in severity during the first 24 hours and then becomes constant and sharp and migrates to the right iliac fossa loss of appetite is a very common uh, symptom in these patients along with nausea which could be a predominant feature okay if the patient has very high fever or abdominal rigidity think that this could be a perforated appendix now there are lots of mimics for the clinical symptoms of appendicitis that's why we call there are myriads of you know clinical mimics for appendicitis which include biliary colic it could be diverticular disease in females you should consider ectopic pregnancy also it could be endometriosis mesenteric lymphadenitis particularly in children even gastroenteritis can mimic appendicitis so there are lot many mimickers of appendicitis so it's very important to diagnose accurately the appendicitis now how do you diagnose what are the investigations you consider to diagnose appendicitis the most common one being the blood count where there will be leukocytosis increase in the white blood cell count with the proper clinical history you can suspect appendicitis okay in in female urine analysis is often asked to rule out urinary tract infection and even to rule out pregnancy by means of pregnancy test the most important investigation which uh, the clinicians consider is the ultrasound examination or ct scan so this in these investigations these radiological investigations have a very great sensitivity in diagnosing appendicitis with the appropriate clinical history now care must be shake, uh, taken uh, whenever you are considering ct scan in cases of females you know we we have to ensure negative pregnancy test early negative pregnancy before subjecting a female for a ct scan 
how do you manage a case of appendicitis of course it is beyond the purview of this particular class once confirmed by investigations appendicectomy is the treatment of choice without any delay okay now we are interested to know about the gross and microscopic features of appendicitis right so grossly the appendix will be swollen dilated and swollen you can find dilated and congested blood vessels on the serosal surface the normal shiny surface of the appendix will be lost in appendicitis the surface becomes dull you know it will no longer be shiny because of the covering by exudate you can find exudate on the serosal surface of course you can look at these dilated and congested blood vessels on serosal surface which tells you that the acute inflammatory process is going on microscopically lumen may be filled with exudate what is an exudate the exudate is nothing but the collections of neutrophils in the lumen the mucosa may or may not show erosions it can be ulcerated as well the submucosa may show hyperplastic lymphoid follicles if that is a cause for luminal obstruction dense acute inflammation is seen in all the layers of appendix appendix most important the demonstration of neutrophils in the muscularis layer okay that is the diagnostic criteria histological diagnosis diagnostic criteria to make a diagnosis of acute appendicitis you have to demonstrate neutrophils in the muscularis propria serosa may show inflammation if it is severe and the inflammation may be extended to the serosa into the periappendicular tissue as well okay so you can see that there is an exudate in the lumen the mucosa shows ulceration okay then this is a muscularis propria and that is the serosa the muscularis propria showing abundant acute inflammatory cells in the muscularis propria okay so that is the luminal side the mucosa submucosa and the muscularis propria okay look at this you can make out that these are neutrophils in the muscularis propria numerous neutrophils in the muscularis propria which confirms the diagnosis of acute appendicitis so let's have a look at this in the virtual slide so as a student in pathology you know if you come across a structure which is circular with a lumen think about few things one appendix it could be a ureter it could be a blood vessel it could be a fallopian tube but appendix is the most common slide kept in examinations for you so this is a circular tubular structure you can make out that this is a luminal part the submucosa showing lymphoid hyperplasia that's the muscularis propria and that is the serosa so you can make out the hemorrhage and the exudate in the lumen the breakdown of mucosa which says the mucosa is ulcerated prominent lymphoid tissue in the submucosa and moving on to the muscularis propria you can see that the inflammation is seen in all the layers so look at this the muscularis propria showing abundant inflammatory cell infiltrates and most of these inflammatory cells majority of them are neutrophils you can see multi lobated nuclei so that's neutrophilic infiltration in the muscularis propria confirming the diagnosis of acute appendicitis not much of inflammation in serosa here yeah you can find inflammation here and there but the inflammation has just extended up to the serosa not beyond that so this is a case of acute appendicitis now let's see what complications can we encounter in the case of untreated appendicitis it can result in acute suppurative appendicitis where extensive abscess gets collected within the lumen or the entire wall of the appendix will be acutely inflamed with lots and lots of neutrophils that is called as acute suppurative appendicitis the blood supply would be severely compromised resulting in gangrenous appendicitis which might lead to perforation and once appendix is perforated the inflammation may get extended into the peritoneum resulting in peritonitis there could be the formation of periappendicular abscess or even appendicular mass the rare complications can include portal venous thrombosis liver abscess and bacteremia so that's about appendicitis we discussed about the etiopathogenesis the clinical features and diagnosis and in detail about the gross and microscopic features and also we looked at various complications of appendicitis thank you for watching do comment if you have any queries to ask don't forget to share thank you